हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2015 एग्जाम सेट थ्री इट्स फॉर टू मार्क्स लेट मी रीड आउट द स्टेटमेंट गिवन अ फंक्शन एफ इज इक्वल टू पी डैश प्लस क्यू आर वेर एफ इज अ फंक्शन इन थ्री बुलियन वेरिएबल्स पी क्यू एंड आर एंड पी डैश इज इक्वल टू नॉट पी कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट सो यू जस्ट हैव अ लुक एट दीज फोर स्टेटमेंट एस वन एस टू एस थ्री एंड एस फोर so we need to find out the min terms and max terms to determine which of these statements is true okay so let us now try to find out all the min terms as well as max terms of this function so you know there is a standard procedure for finding out the min terms we need to make each and every term consisting of three variables this function is dependent on three variables p q and r and each term here must consist all the three variables let's do that so just note what i'm doing see i have written this p bar as p bar into q plus q bar into r plus r bar i can write so because q plus q bar will become 1 r plus r bar r bar will also become 1 so we are writing p bar dot 1 dot 1 which is obviously p bar okay similarly try to include p in this term also this will become q sorry it will become p plus p bar into q r okay now you just open the brackets and you will get all the min terms i'll do that for you so you will be getting these six terms 4 plus 2 6 okay these are all the min terms of the function min terms means at all these inputs function will output high output of function is going to be high at all these inputs let's let's find out what these inputs are so 0 0 0 this one will be 0 this is 0 0 1 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 okay this one will be 1 1 1 that means 7 this one will be 0 1 1 so this is 3 okay you can see 3 and 3 it's repeated twice so we will consider it only once anyways we got the min terms that means submission 0 1 2 3 and 7 this is our function if we consider the min terms and if we want to specify the max terms that means all the inputs where the function will output 0 so all the inputs where the function will output 0 will be the inputs except for these five okay so you can see 0 1 2 3 are covered here 4 5 and 6 are left so this is pi 4 5 and 6 so function outputs one on these inputs and outputs zero on these inputs okay so you can see these two statements from the options are correct you can just uh, match the options now let's solve it in another way that means using the k map the function is p bar plus q r so for p bar you fill one at all the cells where p is having a value of 0 so this is variable p it's having a value 0 in all these four cells so fill a one here okay similarly for this term we will fill a one in all those cells where both q and r are one because we don't have a bar on q as well as on r both of them don't have a bar so wherever value of q and r is 1 just fill a 1 in that cell so q is 1 in this cell as well as in this cell sorry in these four cells q is 1 and r is 1 in these four cells so the common part is this one okay so we have filled the k map from here also you can get the max terms as well as min terms let us find the min terms first it is these five cells okay this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this one is 7 0 1 2 3 7 okay how do i know the 
know that this cell is 7, this cell is 0. You can find it from here. P, Q and R are 1, 1 and 1 for this cell. So this will be 7. Triple 1 means 7. Similarly, for finding out the max terms, except for these cells, all other cells will be 0. That means these three cells contain 0. So they are 4, 5 and 6. So the max terms are 4, 5 and 6. So this is your answer. Okay.